Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. So let's do one more question on improper integrals and let's check whether this integral, the integral of cos x dx from minus infinity to infinity diverges or converges. So to solve this question, we'll use all the concepts that we covered in the last video. So I'll highly suggest you to first watch my previous videos if you have not watched them in order to get the full context or the full explanation about this question over here. So now in this definite integral, you clearly notice two discontinuity points straight away in the interval specified. You see minus infinity and infinity. So you know that there are two sources of discontinuity in this interval over here. And we also have to check whether there is a discontinuity in between the interval as well, right? But we know that since we are calculating the integral of cos x dx, cos x is defined for all real values of x, right? So we know that apart from these two values, apart from infinity and minus infinity, we don't have any discontinuity point in between the interval, right? So since there are only two discontinuity points, and we know that when we are solving these type of questions, we always split those definite integrals into multiple parts such that each definite integral has only one discontinuity, has at most one discontinuity point in the interval specified, right? So what we'll have to do is, in order to calculate this integral over here, which is the integral of cos x dx, from minus infinity to infinity, what we'll have to do is we'll have to split this integral into two parts such that we only have minus infinity discontinuity for one definite integral and infinity discontinuity. And now since you know that cos x is defined for all real values of x, so since it is defined for all real values of x, you can take any breakpoint in between minus infinity and infinity. You can take 10, you can take minus 10 as well, you can take 2 or whatever constant that you want which lies in between this interval, the answer won't change. But in this case, for simplicity, let's consider x equals 0 as a breakpoint. So if we are considering x equals 0 as a breakpoint, what we are solving is basically integral from minus infinity to 0 of cos x dx plus integral 0 to infinity of cos x dx, right? So we know that in between this interval, specified for this definite integral, there is only one discontinuity point, which is minus infinity. And in this case as well, we only have one discontinuity point over here, which is infinity. So now we know that we can use all the methods that we covered in the last video to solve this definite integral expression over here. And we know that if you want to solve these expressions, what we do is we take limit small r approaches to minus infinity for small r to zero of cos x dx plus limit capital R approaches to zero integral of zero to capital R for again cos x dx. So that is what we already covered in the last videos, right? And if we'll solve this definite integral over here, if this definite integral solution has a real solution, then the integral converges. If this does not have a real solution or if the limits don't exist for any of these two definite integrals, since we know that if one of these limits don't exist, you already know that if your one limit does not exist, but the other limit exists and you're adding those two ones, your final expressions limit will also not exist, right? So you already know that. So in this case, if one of these limits don't exist, we will state that this original expression will diverge then. So let's calculate that, you know that the integral of cos x is basically sin x. So if we calculate this expression, it will simply be limit small r approaches minus infinity sin x with the endpoints r and 0 plus the same thing over here, limit capital R approaches 0 sin x 0 to capital R. And then if you'll solve this, the first limit will be limit r tending to minus infinity. This is sine of 0 minus sine of r plus the second limit is limit r approaches to 0 sine of r minus sine of 0 in this case, right? And now you can clearly see that if you take limit r approaches to minus infinity for this expression, you know that this expression approaches infinity over here, right? Because minus of sine of minus infinity would be minus of minus of sine infinity because sine of minus x is simply minus sine x. So this expression will approach infinity and this expression will also approach infinity. So we know that this limit and also this limit does not exist. 
So if both of these limits don't exist, we know that the final limit, the final expression's limit will also not exist. So now since in this case the limit does not exist, our cos of x dx integral from minus infinity to infinity also diverges. And that is what we proved by using all the concepts, all the general concepts that we learned about improper integrals calculation. So that's it for this video. Again, feel free to comment down in this video if you have any doubts. Follow the channel in order to get notified about the other videos that I'll be uploading. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.